Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got all of the new LEGO Friends cubes here and I'm so excited to see how these all go together because, well, for one of the many reasons is there is a surprise pet inside. LEGO has finally jumped on the surprise toy bandwagon. It's a bit of a gimmick, but I'm really excited to see what surprise toy I'm gonna get in here. So which one are we gonna open today? We're we gonna open up Mia. Looks like she's got a little vet studio or Olivia has a chemistry set set up there. She's doing science experiments. Emma, of course, has got a whole heap of art things going on. Andrea has a music themed cube, but Stephanie is back to baking again. I'm so pleased to see this. So we're gonna build Stephanie's cube first. Now, oh, oh, I didn't notice this before. So these must be the colors that the surprise pets can come in. Oh, I wonder which one I'm gonna get. This is exciting. There's a pink kitty, oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh, but Millie's gonna want a gold kitty. Oh no, this is, surprise toys are the worst. What if we don't get the surprise that we want? Doesn't matter. We're just gonna make do with what we get. It will always be exciting. Okay, so Stephanie's cube pack has got, what do we got in here? We got some building parts. We've got a nice big sheet of stickers. Some of these look like they might be ones that we can choose where we wanna put them. And here is our cube with a glittery purple transparent piece. There's our box, our surprise box. And the instructions are outside. So what's that bit? I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute. We've got some more parts here. Let's check this out because if it's not the instructions, what is it? Okay, so this must be Stephanie's, oh, puppies. So we're going to get one of these colored puppies in Stephanie's pack because Stephanie has a dog. <laughs> I wonder what color she has dyed him for this particular set. <laughs> okay, these ones are the instructions. And once again, I'm gonna have to follow the numbers on this little, this little sheet here. Let's see, we have got Stephanie, of course, because it is, <gasps> it is her box. She has got a new apron top piece, which I think also comes in the big bake off and it's printed on the back. Oh, this is still very exciting to me, even though it looks like kind of they cut off the bottom half of the apron and put the blue skirt on. So that looks a little bit weird with the blue skirt, but hey, I'm totally going to accept that. Printing, yay! Oh, though they haven't managed to line up the printing quite on the sides. It looks like Lego still needs a bit more practice printing on curved surfaces, but hey, practice makes perfect and we get more printing as it goes along. Okay, head for Stephanie. I think that Stephanie has a new mouth shape for this. I did not notice that she had, if she had that in the friendship bus, I'm gonna have to go back and have a look, but she's got those little dimples. Mm, okay, that's interesting. And of course she's got the baker's hat, but now with a blonde hairdo. Very, very nice. She is ready to bake all the cakes and she needs a whisk for that, <laughs> along with heaps of other stuff. But the wh a whisk is an excellent, excellent start. So that is her accessory and Stephanie is now ready. Right, now let's check out this cube. At the moment we could just tuck her in there, but there's nothing to help her stay. So let's get our sheet of stickers and let's put this one on where the the instructions say to put it first. So this has got a whole heap of her baking stuff that she's going to need, including the rest of her apron. And we're going to be putting some lights up here. I reckon these are lights, this is what I'm calling them. These are lights <laughs> in her actual working space, which means when we shut the cube, it won't be dark in there. So she won't be claustrophobic. I think that's very thoughtful. Now this piece here has studs on the back. So it's gonna be designed to go into our cube, but we get to put a whole heap of her equipment on it. So she's first up got a set of drawers and a lovely delicious chocolatey brown drawer in here. And we're putting some flowers in here, which we normally use as hair accessories. So we've got a pink one and an orange one, and they're all neatly tucked away in the drawer. On top of the drawers here though, we have got a cake and this new drippy icing piece in mint. This is exciting. Look how awesome the cake looks with this. And it's got holes around the side so you can decorate it with hair accessories, which are now not hair accessories anymore. They are bows and flowers made out of fondant. Isn't that awesome? And Lego has actually given us a decent selection of different hair accessories, which are now cake accessories that we can accessorize. It's a lot of accessory accessorizes that cannot get that bow to go on straight. That we can use to accessorize. That's terrible to decorate our cake. And we've got a birthday candle on the top. So this beautiful big cake, this is obviously what Stephanie has been working on. There's a spot here for Stephanie to stand right next to it. So we can install this into the cube with those backward facing studs into these connect points down the bottom. Isn't that clever? And when we shut it, because it's Lego, everything is so safely secured in there. Look, nobody fell out. 
that's a Lego miracle. Now, on the other side, we've got a matching little pink plate here, which we're going to be able to insert. And let me see, is this going to be a strange yellow and blue cake? Maybe. She might have been using lots of food colouring. We've got another drawer set on this side. And on the top, oh, okay. So we have got a pot on the top. And in the pot, she is busy making something that is either cream or it's bubbling up nicely on the top. And down here might be a fridge. Is it a fridge? Or is it... Oh, okay, hold on. Logic says to me that you don't actually have hot plates on top of a fridge. So it's going to be an oven. And in the oven, she has got some cupcakes ready and baking. Though they've already got frosting on them. So I don't know that that's going to bake very well. Now on this spot over here, we get our mystery pet. So let's check out what we've got in the box. Stephanie gets to... No, you don't get to open this. Your arms aren't big enough. I get to open this. It's a purple puppy! <laughs> That is, that is, it actually it's a lilac, a lavender pu puppy. What is that line across his head? I wonder if that's a misprint or I wonder if that's just the way they mold him. He is very, very purpley and cute. So I got a purple puppy as my surprise pet. <laughs> and he's going to be here hanging out, helping Stephanie with the baking. I can't get her back in here. Oh, there we go. All right. So let's install this on the other side of the cube. And that looks simply the, so very cute. And you can take these. I've just lost the stuff out of the out of the pot. Oh, I don't know where that went. Lucky, <laughs> lucky. We have got a spell. <laughs> determined to lose these. We got enough pieces to make a spare one. Now, these are all the spare pieces that actually came in the set. Hold on. These do not look like spare pieces. I have missed these off the build. They are supposed to go here under the cake to make that cake a little bit easier to remove. So the cake's supposed to be on that jumper stud, which makes it very, very snug in there, but it fits perfectly. We got lots and lots of extra pieces there, including another whisk. Okay, let's test this out. We can close our cube, we can shake it up, and now we can open it again. I didn't shake it for testing, and everything's still in here, beautifully intact. <laughs> I love my new little lilac puppy. I wonder what I'm going to call him. Okay, so we have got these other stickers that we can use to decorate the cube however we like. And I really like the idea of putting these birthday pennants or just decoration pennants up here, little flags. And maybe we could put some, let's put some stuff on the outside of the cube. We'll put our little lilac puppy back in here and <laughs> everything's so secure in there. We will put Stephanie's star on here so that I know from the outside that this is Stephanie's box. And we're going to have a bit of a hint as what's going on inside. So we've got a cake. And of course we need the girls have got heart, love heart on there. And this is a this is a bit of a clue. We got the licky lips emoticon and the little fingers A-OK -okay, because everything is delicious and A-OK -okay in here. Another cupcake on the front. And I think that might be enough stickers stickers for the outside for now. All right. Oh, hold on. The frosting's fallen out. Frosting wants to escape. <laughs> Does not want to stay in the pot. Ah, oh, I completely missed off the sticker off the oven. <laughs> That's what happens when I don't follow the instructions. I get too excited. So this, this will make it a little bit clearer that it's supposed to be an oven and not a fridge. And it's got her little yellow oven mitt on it as well. That is very, very sweet. I really, really like this set. It is more versatile than I expected. And it's so much play potential. And it's a little portable play set too. And we're going to be able to stack it and do things with the other ones as well. Surprise Pet is such a fabulous, fun little gimmick. And I cannot wait to build the other ones. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check back in. And there will be more videos coming up. And I will open some more of these boxes. Absolutely. So I will see you for another video very soon. <laughs> see you then. Bye.